candle magic. So candles can be any color, but in a pinch you can use a white candle. So what do we do? We've got a candle that we've purchased from the store. Now we need to cleanse that candle. So what happens is that we work from the center out, okay, from the center out. And what we do is we grab from the center and we start to pull the energy out and we twist and pull the energy out and then we put it into the ground and we twist and we pull that energy out and we place it in the ground and one more time press and pull that energy out and put it into the ground and then we turn and we do it again from the center out we pull in a twisting motion we pull the energy out and we put it into the ground we twist and pull the energy out again and we put it into the ground and again pull and twist the energy out and put it into the ground now what happens is now we've got a void our candle is no longer has any energy within it at all. We've taken everything out. So now what we need to do is we need to put energy back in. All right, so we have our candle and then we have our anointing oil. Now this can be any oil. Uh, mostly it would be something that is uh, in line with what we want the candle to do. But if it is, is just uh, anointing it so that it would be something for a, um, a ritual, then it would be your ritual oil that you would use. So you take your oil, you place a little bit on your finger, so you don't need a lot. And what I usually do is just to put a line down. Now, depending on how you go, have a little bit more. So you've got a nice line of oil down, down the candle. Now what happens is that you've taken from the out, to the, from the center to the out, and gone again from the center to the out. So you want to start putting energy in. So you go from the outside and pushing it in. So you're pushing in the intent, what you want that, that candle to be. What you want that candle to do, you're pushing it in, and sealing it in, just grabbing it and twisting it in, okay? And then taking the other side and going from the outer and pushing it in, all pushing it in. So you find out that the candle is almost just busting and bursting with that energy, pushing it in and once more, pushing it in. Now, you can do three, six, and nine, however you like, but in multiples of three. So if you feel that you need to do it more than three times, then you can go six, you can go nine. It is up to you, however much you feel that needs to be pushed into that candle. Once you feel that that candle is almost bursting with the energy that you have, then what you would do is you have a little bit of oil on your finger still from pushing that energy into your candle. You will seal the end of the candle here with the wick and then the end of the candle here, sealing the end of the candle using your thumb, using hopefully you have a uh, a, um, a nail. If you don't, then you'll have to use something else. But using a thumb, forming a pentacle, a pentagram in the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you've formed a pentagram. And so that seals the energy in to both sides. So that candle is now full of the energy that you have pushed into it. So even though 
if you light the candle and if you're outside and you're working outside the candle goes out the energy is still within the candle it's still working it is still working on the astral so please don't be worried if you're working outside and your candle does go out then it's okay your candle is still working so your candle now is full of your intent full of your 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 energy and you have some oil on there you can also now add more to your candle spell so I have this nice little little arrow here so you have a consecrated implement whatever now, it is that you use then you carve some sigils in so um, let's just say that this is uh, a candle for um, success now you can have sigils for success or you can just write um, my success in every endeavor on the candle okay now what you would do is you would start at the beginning of the candle so when it burnt down you would go down and and go through the the uh, the working of, of the uh, the intent so my success in every endeavor okay so I change it to my success in everything but that's fine now you can just write it in normal um, in normal script that, that you're aware of or you can use a magical script you work, write down what it is that you want to do and you know the letters of the magical script and you write them down or you can make it into a sigil and carve that sigil onto the, the candle whatever you want to do remember this is working on your subconscious mind so the more that you can actually put into it so the more effort that you put into it uh, the more that it's going to work on the subconscious mind so if you use remember is is almost like a scientific experiment you find out what works for you and then what works for you you do it again yeah so you've got your candle your candle now has oil on it okay and then what you can do is you can use different um, herbs to help with the spell now this is a success uh, success incense so you just place a little bit a little bit on that okay what we do you would actually do is then use that um, and and make and use a mortar and pestle and make it into a almost a, a powder and place it in here but you can you can still use a little bit of it a little bit more a little bit more oil will help with that and just put a little bit now that is good to go but if you want to add a little bit more then what I've done here is I've just got a paper plate and I have the paper plate with a pentacle and around the side of the paper plate is as I am the best person for the job so much should be okay so the, again this isn't a real spell this is just a bit of an idea and uh, then you would place the candle in the center now you think of this as your magic circle okay you have your pentacle of manifestation you have your candle and now you light your candle and you will add your intent to the candle as it is lit and that is fine that is one way of doing a candle spell it's another very powerful cleansing incense that's often used by witches is dragon's blood dragon's blood when it goes onto the charcoal 